Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another lecture on circuit theory. In this session, let us discuss supernode analysis. What is supernode? A supernode exists when an ideal voltage source present between any two nodes of an electrical circuit. For example, let's have this circuit. So, there is a voltage source of 20 volt present between two nodes. I can say this is a node and this is another node. So, according to the statement, a super node exists when an ideal voltage source, that is 20 volt voltage source, is present between two different nodes. Let me give a, a node number here. This is node number 1 and this is node number 2 and here it is node number 3. So between node number 2 and 3 there is a voltage source. This problem or such type of problem cannot simply solved by ordinary node analysis. Instead of that it needs super node analysis. Let's go for a sample problem and find out solution for that. So calculate current in 5 ohm of the following circuit. I am taking the same circuit as it is in the previous slide. Now step number 1 is identify the principal nodes and choose one of them as a reference node. How to choose a principal node? If you have three or more branches connected at a common point. Say for example, three or more branches connecting at a common point. I can say this is node number one. So node number one. So this is node number two. So three or more, in fact three connecting here. And this is node number three. Here also three branches are connected. I can take one node from bottom of the circuit anywhere because all points are considered to be common point. I can say this is my reference node. Fourth node is reference node. That means V4 is equal to 0. Voltage at fourth node is 0. So step number 2, label the node voltage with respect to the ground from all the principal nodes also mark branch current direction so this is a reference mode so if, if you want if you want i can say this is v1 voltage at node number one is v1 so here it is v2 voltage at node number two and so as v3 on node number three. right so i have given a label for node voltages based on the ground and uh, also, I have to mark the branch current direction. Coming to node number 1, 3 branches connected. So, already one of the branch having current direction. This is I1 uh, with the same direction I am taking. Here, randomly you choose the direction. This is I2. Uh, this direction is I3. So here it is I4, this is I5, there it is I6, finally here I7. As per uh, step number 2, I have given uh, label for node voltages as well as mark branch current directions. Then go to step number 3, write nodal equation or node number 1 by applying KCL. So I am taking the same circuit, apply KCL at node number 1, this is node number 1, I1 current entering, I2 and I3 currents are leaving. So let me write down the equation here, have a look at this one. I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 is my KCL equation. What is I1? 10 amps. 10 amps is I1. You replace I1 as 10. 
I2, I2 is current flow between 1 and 4 node. So, V1 minus this V4, V4 is actually 0. So, V1 divided by 3 ohms. I2 is V1 by 3 ohms. Then, I3, I3 is flowing between node number 1 and 2. That means, V1 minus V2 divided by 2. So, V1 minus V2 divided by 2 ohms. So, I have written KCL equation and also I have replaced current in terms of voltage and resistances. So, simplify this and then we will be finding the equation as 0.83 V1 minus 0.5 V2 minus 10 equal to 0. You take this as equation number 1. Let's move on to another step. Uh, and step number 4. Since the voltage source present between node number 2 and 3, combined nodal equation 2 as well as 3 by applying KCL. We are supposed to remove this voltage source completely. When you consider node number 2, there are two branches tied with this. One is 2 ohm resistor, another one 1 ohm resistor. So, on a 2 ohm resistor, we have I3 current flow. On a 1 ohm resistor, we have I4 current flow. So, when you write down the equation, I3 towards a node, then I4 away from the node, which is equal to I4. Then, uh, these two uh, from node number 2, we have to combine node number 3 also with this equation. So, moving to node number 3, we have I6 current flow which is flowing downward that is away from the node. I7 even flowing away from the node. Okay. So, this is also added with I4, I6 plus I7, I7. So, the equation is I3 is equal to I4 plus I6 plus I7. Now, substitute uh, current in terms of voltage and resistors. So, that is what I have done here. At node number 2 and 3, combine node number 2 and 3, we have I3 is equal to I4 plus I5 plus I6. So, this is I7 not I5. This is actually I7. I7. Your I3, I3 means V1 minus V2 by 2. So, this one. What about I4? I4 here flowing downward. So, this portion. Okay. V2 minus 0 divided by 1. So, this is what your I4. Then I6. What is I6? V3 coming flowing down, so leaving negative of this voltage source, so minus 10. V3 minus 10 divided by 5. So this is your I6. Then I7 finally. I7 is V3 minus 0 divided by 2. So V3 by 2. So simplify this equation, you may get minus 0.5 V1 plus 1.5 V2 plus 0.7 V3 minus 2 is equal to 0. We just keep it as equation number 2. Find out voltage between node 2 and 3. Just a voltage between node 2 and 3. If you identify the voltage between 2 and 3, I have given the direction of current flow from 2 to 3. That means V2 minus 20 minus V3 is equal to 0. That is voltage between 2 and 3 is V2 minus 20 because current leaving negative of the terminal. That's why minus 20 minus V3 equal to 0. From this you may conclude or else you keep it as uh, equation number 3. Now Solving these three equations, that is equation number 1, equation number 2 and the equation number 1 which is available above.
solving these three equation you may get v3 as minus 8.42 okay. so once we concluded v3 it is very easy to find out current in the 5 ohm resistor where we have 5 ohm resistor go back to the circuit here we go 5 ohm so current flow through 5 ohm is i6 that is v3 minus 10 divided by 5 that is what written here v3 minus 10 divided by 5 substitute the value of v3 and you may get current in 5 ohm as minus 3.68 amps i hope you understand the super mesh analysis problem for more update subscribe my channel